morning guys what's up welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new long time no see i'm so excited to finally be vlogging again today is monday and i have my chem lab today but it's not until 12 30. i still have to do a lab quiz and just preview the lab before we go over it in class but before that i'm gonna go make something for breakfast chad and i need to go grocery shopping so so bad because we have like no food so we are going grocery shopping later Normally, I always like to add berries and stuff on top of my oatmeal, but we have no strawberries, no blueberries, no raspberries. There's nothing for me to add to my oatmeal. But luckily, I do have a banana, so I'm just going to chop up a banana and do some cinnamon with it. I think that'll be good. This looks delicious. I was over here complaining that I didn't have blueberries and this actually looks amazing. I don't need blueberries, raspberries, strawberries. Mmm. Cheers. That doesn't really apply to this. This is a bowl of oatmeal. Oh, I have to track my food. So Chad and I decided we were going to challenge each other this week to track our food, everything we eat for one week straight on my fitness pal. And we did this, like we used to do this all the time years ago. Um, I've used the app before. But we were very like inconsistent about it and um, this time we're trying to like actually stay in our calorie range for what it suggests for us like based on our height and weight i'm not trying to lose weight but obviously i'm always trying to eat healthier and just stay toned and work out consistently you guys know that's like kind of my motto I'm not trying to lose weight or anything i'm i feel like i'm a healthy weight but i just want to eat healthy and be healthy and so we thought it'd be fun to just like do a solid week of tracking all of our food i feel like when you track your food it makes you so much more aware of what you're eating so you don't really want to consume things that aren't good for you because then you have to add it in here and then you're like oh mm, probably shouldn't have had that you know plus i just got off my period so the last week i have eaten pretty bad i don't know why like sometimes i have periods where like i feel like i have no cravings and then other times i'm like i want all of the candy chocolate i want junk food and that's what it was like this past week for me so i'm really uh excited to eat healthy again okay guys it's a little bit later i just finished going through the lab experiment for nine this is what we're doing today in lab looks fun we're learning about buffers and ph and all that stuff and i facetimed my sister and she explained to me she actually works in the lab at usf well she hasn't been because of covid but when she worked there she did a lot of stuff with ph and hydrochloric acid and altering the ph of certain solutions so she was explaining to me how that works um but here is the experiment somebody asked me why i'm not completely digital over the summer like i got some questions about that um, and that's just because these experiments, like he wants them printed out and scanned in and submitted that way. It's really weird. We don't even submit it on Canvas. Like we email him our lab experiments. So that's why the only ones that are done digitally are the formal lab reports. And there's like only two of them. And my final exam is literally next week, guys. I mean, I'm that close to being finished with this six week course. It literally flew by and I'm just trying to finish strong. If you're someone who's in intro to chem or gen chem one and you're curious what uh chem 2 is like just get ready for a lot of math it's literally like all math and algebra so if you're good at that kind of stuff then you will do fine for me i'm doing really well right now i'm trying to finish with a's in both the lecture and the lab and as long as i do good on this third exam and the final then i'm good i didn't do the best on the first exam um but the second one i got an a on so that really like boosted me up so i think i'm gonna finish with a's i'm trying to stay hopeful
It's a little bit later and I'm in the car with Chad and we're heading to go grocery shopping. We're going to this new grocery store that's kind of similar to Whole Foods a little bit. They have like very limited package selection. It's supposed to be like a grocery store similar to like a farmer's market. It's called Sprouts. Um, we're so lucky one just opened up very close to where we live. So we're gonna go grocery shopping there and get some healthy stuff this week because tracking our food, which reminds me, I didn't even eat lunch. We're in the Starbucks drive-thru right now and I ordered my typical coffee like I always get, but I did one less pump of white mocha this time. I normally do three um, and I did two because I feel like uh, since I'm tracking my calories, I should do a little bit less. home from the grocery store so I thought I'd do a little grocery haul because I love watching these and every time I do these you guys seem to enjoy it too basically just a bunch of produce we only got a few packaged things these ginger snaps because um, they're amazing and they're only two dollars so this is like my unhealthy snack for the week and then I just got these sweet potato chips by the Terra brand I love these this is Chad's um, it's like an organic raisin brand and for bread, we got this grain free bread by the Sprouts brand. We just want to try it and see how that tastes. And then for produce, um, like for fruits, blueberries, because I need that for my oatmeal, mango chunks for a snack, apples and oranges. And then for veggies and stuff, this is just like for cooking our meals. We got some sweet potatoes, asparagus, zucchini, broccoli, grape tomatoes, onion, and pepper. And then this lemon is also for something that we're cooking. I got this little cranberry walnut salad to have for lunch tomorrow because chad's on shift and it looked kind of good so half and half for my coffee we got some of the sprouts tomato basil sauce big bag of farro because we're gonna make farro bowls for dinner this week it's like one of our favorite meals we're gonna do some burgers later this week we decided to do these plant-based patties 20 grams of plant protein so it looks pretty good and then tonight we're having salmon so we got a fresh cut of salmon and then i got some of this granola which was I think almond coconut granola, which is freshly made from sprouts, and then these are just walnuts. So that is it. This is our food for the week. You can't eat unhealthy stuff if you don't buy unhealthy stuff, minus the ginger snaps. So I got a couple of packages in the mail, and these are both from black owned businesses that I shopped at this past week, and I can't wait to show you guys what I got. How cute is this? I think it's Ivy Boutique. It's the cutest online boutique ever. They have so many things to choose from. I don't have a discount code. I'm not working with her. Um, I just wanted to support her business. And so I got a really cute graphic t-shirt from her boutique. I'm a sucker for pretty packaging. I literally just love plain oversized graphic t-shirts. So this is just a classic cotton t-shirt. Just says Ivy on it for her boutique name. And reminds me a lot of my Levi's shirt that I'm wearing right now. This is so cute. Such a good find. I will link her shop below if you guys want to check it out. I ordered my candle from a little shop called Shades of Coral. So shout out to them. I will also link the website for this one below as well. The owner is really, really sweet. And she makes handmade soy candles. I ordered her self-love candle. So here's what it looks like. And it's 100% soy wax. They're all hand poured and it's supposed to last 40 hours, this little guy. So I am so excited. This smells so freaking good. It reminds me of like a clean blanket if you use like fabric softener and then you take it out just like that really clean scent and I am so about scents like that. It feels so good to support small businesses anyway but especially black owned businesses. Right now and all the time they need our support. So it just feels so good to support them. And while I'm on the topic, I wanna encourage you guys to get involved if you haven't already. I know the last week a lot of change has been happening for the better 
and it's so amazing to see how much can be done when everyone works together. I mean, literally, there was protests going on in all 50 states and then other countries around the world as well, and that's amazing. So this past week, I donated, I supported small black businesses, I signed so many petitions, and I really hope that you guys are doing the same because we are making history, and I'm so glad that I had this platform that I can use to make a difference. Even though this whole thing is trending right now, I wanna let you guys know that I don't want this to be something temporary. I don't want to be talking about why Black Lives Matter and trying to be an ally and making a difference just because it's popular right now. I want to continue this. I want to be an ally. I want to continue to educate myself. I want to educate you guys. I really want to be someone who's making a difference. I feel like I was given the opportunity to have a platform with an audience for a reason and now is my time to use it to really make a difference. Let me know in the comments what you guys did this past week to support the Black Lives Matter movement and to stand up for the voices that really need to be heard right now. I wanted to take a second to show you guys a couple of notes that I've been using to study. These are by Melissa Maribel. I've talked about her notes a ton of times for Chem 1 and I'm also using them for Chem 2. So these are the acids and bases notes. Here's everything that they cover. And you guys know I love her notes because they use lots of examples. They explain everything. She gives you all of the equations and she always includes little important notes so that you don't forget like what the main takeaway is. So these notes are super helpful. I will link them below. And then I also wanna show you guys the other ones. The kinetics notes are what helped me a ton on my first exam. Here's what these ones go over. These are so helpful. If you struggle with this concept, I mean, honestly, this chapter of Chem 2, I would say is probably the most difficult the whole semester just doing like the rate reactions and then there's so many different formulas that you need to memorize and how to plug them in she gives you everything you need so go ahead and check out the description if you guys want to purchase her notes quick little workout outfit of the day Chad and I are doing a garage workout and our gym actually is opened full capacity again but we still have not been back we just don't know how we feel about it so we haven't gone back yet I am wearing the lululemon invigorate sports bra and then these are the ultra high-rise uh, Wonder Unders from Lululemon and then my sneakers which are so dirty now. It's very sad But these are my Adidas Swift Run sneakers. You guys know I'm obsessed with them Pause Chad's music so I can show you guys this without getting copyrighted, but here's today's workout uh, We're doing 10 jump squats 20 side lunges with the peach bands Which I have here. I always use the medium one I think Chad's gonna use the heavy one and then 10 dumbbell curl to press 15 sit-ups 10 dumbbell front raises 10 dumbbell side raises and we're repeating all of this five times. I always do check boxes and then I'm just gonna record like how much time it takes us to do all of that. We finished our workout, it was a good one and we are just quickly making dinner before we even take showers. We're doing this brown and red rice with chia and kale. So this is what we're having with the salmon and then the asparagus. just got out of the shower thought I would take a second to show you guys some of the skincare products that I've been using like every single day so the first thing is this retinol eye cream that I actually got in a PR package from Pixie and I think I unboxed that in a vlog so I really like it I've been using it every day as you can see I put a little a little dent in it but I like it a lot it smells good and it's really hydrating and anything with retinol is supposed to be good for your skin and the other thing is this rescue mask by first aid beauty I actually tried this in a sample that I got for free from like using Sephora rewards and then I actually bought the full size because I love it so much so even though it says mask it's like a leave-on mask so you rub it in like you would a moisturizer and then you just let it absorb into your skin it's so moisturizing. So if you're stressed out or you feel like your skin is really dry and like needs something, this is the best thing for that. And this last thing was sent to me complimentary from Laneige and I was so excited to try it out. It's our glowy makeup serum that just came out a few weeks ago. I love this. I've been putting it on underneath my makeup. It gives my skin a really good glow. So if you guys wanna check it out, I will link it in the description. I'll actually link all of these. Here is the final product of our dinner, salmon, asparagus, and then that rice mix. Whoa, I'm literally steaming up my camera lens. It is way later now, and I'm actually about to end this vlog. I want to edit and get it uploaded right now because I know you guys have been waiting for a vlog for like well over a week. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I'm going to be vlogging a lot this week. I have some really exciting news coming up. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next video.